Hi learners, welcome to my channel Data Science University with MLV Prasad. The agenda for today's video is Project 2 Panda Sleep Code Type Easy Question number 1623 All valid triplets that can represent a country. You can join my Telegram community for further updates and discussion. Scan here to join the communities. Now let's solve together the problem. Okay. So here they have given three tables school A, school B, and school C. There are three schools in a city, and the three tables have been given. And in each school, there are some students. So they have given the student roll number ID kind of student ID and the, what is the respective name of the student. Okay, there are three things. And they said there is a compression which is being happening. Okay. Now they want three students such that each student should be from different different schools member a from school a member b from school b and member c from school c okay that is the thing okay the selected student names and ids are pairwise distinct that is no student no two students share the same number of id or same id write a solution to find the possible triplets according to the given constraints okay This is school one. This is school one. This is school two. This is school three. Now, let us see that what is the thing they are asking. Sorry. No. Just a minute. Okay. As they have mentioned, they want a student from every school. I want to select one from here. I have to select one from here. And I also have to select one from here. Okay. And what is the thing they said? Two students should not have the same student IDs. For example, let's come here. One and a three. Okay. One and a three. There is a connection. Two and a three connection. Let us come here. Three and a three. It is not possible because they are not unique. Three and a three. Similarly, three and a jerry. Okay. Now let us come here. Similarly, what is the connection here? 1 allies 3, 2 jerry. Again, 1 allies, sorry, this should be the first connection. What is that? 1 allies 3 tom. 1 allies 3 tom. 2 jerry. One allies three tom ten allies two bob three tom two jerry two bob two bob. Ten allies. Sorry, it should be three tom. Ten allies. So as of now, what we check is let us say this is A. We have checked that A row not equal to B row, B row not equal to C row. But we also should check one more thing. 
it is a also should not be equal to c okay let us come here can you see 1 2 2 10 but here 2 2 is there right same matching so this is also not matching similarly we have checked until now only the student ids let us check for names alice tom jerry alice tom alice so the name is repeating again here so what are the connections where student ids are not same and also the names are not same it is mr alice tom jerry alice tom jerry bob tom alice okay so the here the condition is three conditions a not equal to b and b not equal to c and c not equal to a this should be the condition so how do i solve this question simple first join all these tables how do you join i want all the possible combinations so my step one should be cross joining all these three tables my step two should be checking for only these conditions okay my step three should be selecting only the things which i want okay i hope it is clear for everyone now let's solve together the problem let us scroll it up okay okay now let us say um, a is equal to school a dot merge school b so how you want to join it let me call it as table one how is equal to cross join so we created a table The first table and second table, all the possible combinations, we got it. But do I want only two tables? No, I want three tables. So let me do the second table. I will call T two S the above table merge the third table. How cross? So this is our final mega T two table. Okay. Now I need to filter from this table T2 equal to T2. What is the first condition? T2 tables student ID X. What is this X, Y, and something here? It is there. Okay. So whenever some duplicate thing will be there, there some suffix will be added. So this will be the suffix one table suffix y one table nothing suffix another table so i will keep student id x not equal to t2 table student id y okay let me run it so this is giving only the things where the first two things are not matching okay but as i told you a table b table we're checking now we are checking for b table and c table also i will keep as doing and let me do it so now we'll call it as second table the third table now the last table student id and the x okay now we can see there is no two rows where student ids are same now only ids we should check no right Old the names also we should check okay so let me just copy it up 
let me keep a and symbol because and same thing but instead of student idx i will keep name see we got only that rows which are required okay now let me select only that column name. so i want please select only student name x and student Okay, we got it but i think they want to call it with some custom new names member a member b member c so let me call it the old column as new column member a also student name uh, student name Y, I will call it as member B. And student name number c that's it okay i think we have successfully solved this problem okay let us check for all the test cases. Okay, clear. So if you want the code output for this, it will be available in this GitHub repository and the link for that is available in the description below. If you want to further learn data analytics, machine learning, NLP, CV or generated AI stuff, please fill in this Google form which will be available in the description below. And if you are preparing for data science interviews, do check out my playlist of project 1 lead code sql easy medium and hard similarly project 2 lead code pandas easy as of now it will be greatly helping your interview process and if you have any other further questions regarding the problem which you have solved use the hashtag in the comment section i will be answering all the things which you have doubt okay and keep learning and keep practicing guys